Nisner Lagoon is a very safe haven once you have passed the entrance, the Nisner Heads. The 60 yard wide passage between the heads, protected by two bars and submerged rocks, is one of the most dangerous entrances if attempted in the wrong weather and the wrong state of tide. The Indian Ocean swells with thousands of miles fetch can reach over a hundred feet as westerly winds fight against the Agalus current flowing down the coast from the east. Many a modern ship has been damaged by these huge waves. With a magnetic declination of nearly 28 degrees west in this area, many an old ship heading west on a compass bearing at night would be holding a true course of west-northwest and pile up on the shore. Combine those hazards with the remorseless procession of depressions marching up from the Southern Ocean, and one can see why this is one of the most dangerous coasts in the world. During the month when I was last there, two local fishermen sadly drowned on the bar. This chart made in 1805 shows that the land and lagoon of Neisner is about the same as today. The two bars at the entrance are there and the shallows once through the heads are the same. Note that the true north is marked on the chart indicating that they knew in 1805 about the magnetic declination of nearly 28 degrees west at Neisner which hasn't changed much at Neisner over the last 200 years as seen on these isogonic charts by NOAA for 1805, 1909 and 2019. By contrast, declination in London was about 24 degrees west in 1805 and about due north for both true and magnetic today. I have added here the modern leading marks 6 degrees off true north, flashing white every 3 seconds low front and quick flashing red above and behind. Remember the huge magnetic declination if using a compass rather than GPS. Contacts. Call the Neisner Keys Harbour Master for assistance at 044-382-0955. Local yachts use VHF Channel 10 for communications and there is a webcam at www dot the heads dot co dot z a the local nsri lifeboat station 12 will gladly supply visiting yachts with real-time information they can be contacted via telephone on 044 384 or cell phone 083 324 6558. Neisner Yacht Club can be contacted on 044 382 5724. Navigation Enter and leave at slack low water. The whole lagoon fills and empties through the heads so the current is strong each side of slack. The maximum tidal range is 2.21 metres, 7.3 feet, with average springs about 1.8 metres and neaps about 1 metre. Depth over the outer bar is 5.8 metres and inner bar is 3.9 metres, plus the tide state you have so depth is not a problem for the average cruising yacht. There is another sandbar near the yacht club with only about two meters at low water, but there is room to anchor and wait. Entering at slack low water will give you the advantage of a rising tide if you run aground on the shallows somewhere inside and making the position of the 
submerged rocks outside more obvious. If the swell is over three metres, it is advisable to radio in for local knowledge and help. Here we popped out and back through the heads on a calm day, but murky, for a shakedown sail before later heading down to Cape Town. And we're bang on. You can see the red of the outer mark and the, the, uh, the other transit mark up on the hill. You can see they're bang in line now. So we're pretty well bang on the line at the moment. Eastern heads. Some beautiful houses up there. And we're over the inner bar now. It's really smooth today. of caves and there's a path you can walk all the way down from the top of the heads down through the nature reserve massive caves People climbing on the rocks. Mm, that looks nice. a nice restaurant and there we had a meal in there and we came as a family 15 years ago there's the outer mark where we swim in the bay there. Next to the Iron Lai. The South African rescue services there. And just next door to that brown door is the Neisner Annex. Where we can change and the, swim. the strong tidal flows in the heads build up large waves over the bars, which can be fun for surfing canoeists, but can be dangerous for boats. If the swell is over three metres, it is advisable to radio in for local knowledge and help. Looking down from the top of the east heads on a fairly calm day. So that's the side to go out on? Yeah. Mm. There are two bars in an outer bar. And you see the edge playing now, and you see how it steepens the seas in the middle. Yep. And so the, the way to go out is the way he's gone up, trace the rocks there, and then over in the next bit, trace to the next rocks, where you're out of the main flow of the tide in and out of the harbour. Uh, I think it is the other one. I think it is. Okay. In this all right. Well, we're certainly keeping close to that rock. And, 
a not so calm day. Neisner is a lovely place to stop, a year-round temperate climate, a good marina, haul out on a cradle possible, a friendly yacht club and good shops walking distance from the marina.